Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 59 of my King Tiger and Bird Panther diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Guess what we're going to be doing today? No, not boxes. We're going to be scratch building apart. Guess what? I've knocked one of the exhausts off. So we're going to have to replace it. At first I thought I'd use a piece of angled sprue. Let's see how that goes, shall we? So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. It was at this point I remembered I had something better. Styrene tube result. So let's crack on with that. Now it's cut to length, it's time to bend it. I saw somewhere if you put a metal rod through the tube, it allowed you to bend it better without it splitting. So first I put the styrene length in some hot water to soften it up. Then I took some thick wire, twisted it using my drill, fed it through the tube and bent it. It did come out a little bit distorted, but it didn't split, crack or anything like that. So it's nothing a bit of sanding won't fix. So this is how I did it. There we have that replaced. I'm using super glue on it in the hope that it doesn't go again. I'm also re-gluing the front sprocket back on, also with super glue. Next, onto giving the replacement part a bit of weight. Here I'm using lead weights and a crimper. This will make it look like it's heavy. I was initially going to have it inside the wheel, but then decided on the bottom of the crate will be a lot lot better. See, I knew I could squeeze a crate in somewhere. There we have the crate done, ready for straw to be put in as packing material. This will hide anything you can see of the lead bits. Next up we're going to be doing a sand wash, as it's the summer of 44. I'm using Humbrol's enamel sand wash, mainly because it needs using up. And I do have quite a bit of products here that need using up and this is one of them. So onwards and upwards with a sand wash.
and now on to the Hetzer. That's the heads are done. Next, onto the tracks. There we go, that's the King Tiger tracks done. I realised towards the end that I should have done the sand wash at the end. Not the beginning. Oh well, I'll do it after as well. Anywho, on with a couple of repairs that need doing. I knocked the steering wheel and an ammo rack off. So let's get those stuck back on, this time with super glue. And there we go, that's the repairs done. Having left the tracks overnight to dry, we're going to rust them. I bet you've seen at least one video recently with this stuff in it. I've been using this for well over a year now. It is of course Dirty Downs Rust, aka Talent in a Bottle. I love this stuff. I've also got the Moss and Verdigris. Well worth the investment, something I don't mind spending my money on. Anyway, on with rust in the tracks, here we go! There we go, that's what it looks like. Awesome stuff.
So there we have the King Tiger and Hetz's tracks all rusted up. I'll pop those to one side to dry. That's all for today as I'm prepping for the Scottish Nationals in Perth this weekend. I'm going to be running the Models for Aero stand there. First time we've been up there. So if you're there, come say hello. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 59. If you want to see what happens in the big 6-0... Please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.